Good evening. Thank you for choosing News Channel 11 at 11 o'clock. I'm Josh Smith. Sarah Diamond has the night off tonight. Our top story at 11, searching for Buford. A Tri-Cities woman's been looking for her dog for more than 48 hours after she said the black hound may have been attacked by a bear near the Dennis Cove campground in the Hampton area of Carter County Tuesday night. That alleged attack took place near the old firing range within the campground property. As Chantel Batista reports, Anna Lowe is not giving up hope. Buford is a black hound that was attacked by a bear at Dennis Cove on Tuesday. And two days later, his owner, Anna Lowe, desperately looking for her dog. Flash and Daisy came back, but Buford didn't. Anna was on a hike with her three dogs when she noticed Buford started limping. We had already walked a little bit, and he was having trouble with his paw that has been injured from a bear trap. And so she decided to cut their hike short and head back towards the car. We turned around and... Just about a minute after we turned around, this bear just came out of the woods and he just started coming towards my dog and my dogs was barking and my dog was trying so hard to get to that bear that it got away from me. Buford pulled so hard that his leash came loose. Anna's initial reaction was to run to safety, hoping all three of her dogs would follow. The worst growling sounds you can hear. The forest, or the Watauga Ranger District came out and helped me for about two hours. They didn't see anything. Lowe spent much of Wednesday evening searching for Buford, telling us she spotted a mother bear and two cubs while searching for her dog. The Carter County native determined to find her dog and says she will spend the next few days searching through the rugged mountains, and now she's asking for your help. I'm thinking he may still be alive and only injured. I'm putting these flyers out now, so if anybody sees him, please let me know. If you have seen Buford, call Anna. We'll have her contact information up on WJHL.com.